good day everyone it's your Grizz I'm out out on the 916 it's been a while it's been a while since I've done a video anyway but I've been riding the 916 weather kind of given and the weather's been really good so I've been riding it a fair old bit mixing it up a little bit with the Punisher and been loving it I've just been riding it to and from work primarily I'm not really getting much done on the weekends riding wise and got too many other things kind of going on on the weekends at the moment hence there's no, not really been a lot of vlogs um, just trying to get things sorted and get myself more sorted and sold the Hayabusa this Hayabusa has gone I'm sorry to say but I had to uh, had to make things a bit more sensible and I keep thinking about making things more sensible and I keep thinking about selling the 916 as well. That would be the ultimate kind of step in making things really comfortable for Taffy and I financially. But it's not a real needed thing to be done. But I do often think about doing it for making life easier for us. Um, and more so actually just so we can maybe have some nicer holidays. Things like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see where we're going to go. See what happens with that. I'm going to try and sort out all my other bits and pieces. I'm, I'm selling my bike. I've got loads of bike parts for sale. Um, trying to get all of those advertised. I don't know if any of you... The road condition here is terrible. I don't know if any of you have used things like eBay. But it takes forever to list these things. So, um, yeah, it's been a fun... Fun and game, sorry. I'm not getting distracted. There's huge rocks in the road and a huge chunk of the road missing, mate. Um, but anyway, I hope all my angle dangles are good. I've got the 360 cam on again today. I'm trying it out, experimenting, seeing if I can get some good footage from this camera. It's not exactly easy. Because um, it's been playing up. But anyway, the 916 is in very good road health. And I've been enjoying it a lot. It's been a real blast. And the thought of selling it, it does not really sit well with me. But look at these roads. Look, it's dodgy. You've got to be careful, guys. Something's been spilt there at some point in the time. And uh, that could cause an issue. But we're just trying rise above it enjoy the ride make the most of it and i hope you are aware and enjoying this summer it's been extremely hot it's been a bloody great one lots of people banging on about climate control i'm just i'm just thankful for the good weather and enjoying the rides you know uh, <laughs> i'm so not focused on the environment but i am really i'm i am quite an environmentalist i guess i say that all i really do is i, I i'm i'm kind of try to be good with the recycling um, I'm not really a big environmental person really um, but I like to think I don't make too much of a mark on the environment but from the standpoint of the weather um, I'm, I'm not going to complain I'm not really that concerned because I'm just loving the lovely conditions and this summer has just been the summer I've been waiting for for like the past few years like Covid got in the way and God knows what else things got in the way and I've not really had an enjoyable summer's riding but this has been a great summer's riding if only for my commutes to work uh, but that is a really good thing you know it starts off my day on a real positive note doesn't make my working day for Quiville quite so bad not that it is bad it's not a bad job but it just makes everything more enjoyable and more fun, doesn't it? That ride to work. And if you're not doing it, and if you've got a bike and you are able to do it, then I recommend you do do it because go and have a ride to work, to and from work. It really does start the day off on a positive note. Clears my head and uh, yeah, I feel really kind of set up for a, a good day ahead when I ride to work. So yeah, 916, can't say I've really had any problems. Everything's going really well. Um, yeah, she's running really nice. Everything works as it should. So I'm really happy with it. Same for the Punisher. Uh, I've got a new jacket. I've got my Knox armor jacket on. Um, go check out. This is the Utility Mark II, Pro Mark II jacket. 
utility jacket with all the pockets go check out my previous vlog um, of me being out on the Punisher wearing it and doing a little bit of a review on the on the jacket um, but yeah thoroughly recommend this for the summer riding um, I'm not hot at all when it's quite a hot day today saying that it's about 25 degrees this is not the end of the world is it um, but I've been using it for a week or so now morning and night and uh, getting on with it really well finding that it's just kind of warm enough for the colder mornings and keeps you nice and cool for the ride homes the ride homes uh, and a good big big thank you to my homies uh, <laughs> big thank you to infinity motorcycles for uh, getting me this jacket over to me uh, so quickly so yeah um, what can I say what can I bloody say apart from I've just really been loving the 916 I've not done a lot of vlogs because I felt like a lot has been up in the air it's just been like um, a lot of sorting out to do uh, I feel kind of selling the Hayabusa is actually a good positive step ahead some of you are obviously probably disappointed that I sold it and saddened but financially it's just not really it's not it's not viable with the with the upcoming winter and the and the the prospect of high energy prices going even higher it's just one overhead I could do without really or we could do without so I sold it um, but yeah, on from that, all is good. And uh, I hope all is good with you guys. I will pull over at some point and give you a view. A little walk around this, this beauty, this 916. Rain! too quick so got this camera hanging off Oop. I don't want to lose it it's just so smooth this bike it doesn't, it doesn't really jump out at you, the power. But it is actually a, a deceivingly powerful bike because the delivery is so smooth and, co and just continues to give all the way uh, through the rev range. Up to about nine or 10,000 revs, which doesn't sound a lot. But when you're accelerating from such low revs, you, you end up going deceivingly quick. <laughs> But I don't want to go too quick, so I'm going to lose this camera. Let's pull it in up here. These nice dusty roads. Nice muddy dusty roads. That's really good for Ducati 916. Uh, it'll live. Right, let's pull it in here. And I'll give you a little walksy talksy around the 916. Because invariably there's some things I forgot about this bike. Let's put it over here. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, it's keeping cool. I've not, I didn't use it on like the hottest day of the year. I thought I wouldn't take the Michael. And um, yeah, so I've been kind of looking after it. I've been like, not getting it too hot let's turn this off a sec yeah not been getting it too hot and just kind of looking after it um but yeah it's it's bloody lovely i did buy a pair of carbon fiber wheels for it they're off a 1098 ducati 1098 um or 1198 but sadly they didn't fit uh so they're not going on they're back up for sale 
is absolutely fine. I do find that front end is a little bit heavy, but to be honest, I reckon maybe the suspension needs setting up better for, all my, for my weight and for my riding style. Um, but yeah, it doesn't need actually anything. It's great. It's a great bike as it is. It really is. I'm not just saying it because I've got it. It's a lovely bike. It's just so beautiful in, in so many ways to look at, to ride and listen to. I'm going to pull it right out now and see if I can get a bit of quiet road and not hit any passers-by. It's probably my worst idea ever. But let's see if we can get a bit of footage like this. And it's like Mission Impossible for me to see. I need to put my glasses on. All oh, these don't come alone, guys. doesn't come alone. Right, let's get this. Camera's on. It's recording. Okay. Is my other ca camera's recording? Yes. And yes. Right. We're go. We are go. Let's get my glasses away. Nice and easy. Let's get that out a bit more like this. Hopefully that will be okay and it won't fall off. Right, daredevil riding. Hopefully I can just find a little quiet patch of road now. Just up here and uh, not cause a problem. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Let's just go back down I reckon. It's looking quite quiet out here. Oh, let's put it in gear, that's a good one. Be a bit mindful that I'm really wet, really wide now. <laughs> I've got a ride like I'm a car, but I just want to give this little bit of footage just to give you guys a bit of side on action of the 916 in action. And I hope you're enjoying it's a real beautiful bike. I can't get it across to you. This bike it looks great in photos, but in person. It actually draws a bit of a crowd. When I park it up at work, they all stand around and watch me leave work and they're not always there when I come in. But yeah, it's quite it's quite funny. I don't really see it that way, but it is it is a beautiful bike. And I guess it is an icon. And I've been privileged to have it and own it. And if it stays or goes, I'm still happy because I've had it. I don't want it to go though really to be honest with you. I'll see if I can avoid that see what we can do yeah I just got a bit tired of making those videos where I'm talking about what I'm keeping and what I'm selling and I'm sure some of you have got a bit tired of that as well but apart from anything else I've actually just been a bit snowed under and getting stuff sorted this camera going to stay in position well, better not go too quick it's a bit boring for you but hey maybe you're enjoying the side view <laughs> oh dear I'm gonna I'm gonna pull over and move this camera because I don't want to have an accident because of it Pull it in up here. Let's have it out there for a bit.
soon as I see another group of guys and they're like messing around with GoPros, you know, there's someone there making a bit of magic. It's worth doing, guys. I, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a very expensive game on the, the, the kind of how I'm doing it. You know, I've got some of the best cameras. Some of the best cameras. They're not the very best, but some of the best cameras. They're expensive. And all the editing equipment that goes with it. I spent a lot on it, but it's never really been about making money for me. And if it is, then you're going to be onto a bit of a loser when it comes to YouTube. But it's fun, and I love I love sharing it, and I love having it there to look back on. So next week's going to be a hot one. You're probably watching this while it's a flipping hot one. I hope you're all staying cool. If you're not, go buy yourself from Infinity Motorcycles a nice Knox Urban <laughs> Urban Pro Mark II utility jacket. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, yeah, recommending it a lot. It's keeping me nice and cool. It's like riding with a flipping string vest on, but just knowing that that protection's there, you know, good good body armor is there. It's gonna save my bacon. Ooh, bacon! Bacon, there's a nice Ducati guy. Gave me a little salute. How nice of him. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah. And the, come the winter, I'm gonna wear a nice fit jacket over it or just whatever my normal stuff but I just know I've got good body armor on and that's really kind of making me feel a lot happier because it wasn't as good as the uh, fur furigan furigan furigun furigun fur uh, furigun oh fuck flipping heck um <laughs> furigun jacket I don't you know I don't think it was as good the body armor wasn't as good definitely not and uh oh Jesus Christ Grizz don't push it around these corners because there's gravel on it don't mess up I don't want to drop this bad boy see this is the thing about having the, this bike is I absolutely love it I've put a lot of money into it and I don't want to I don't want to part with it but I don't really relax much on it I just I'm like uptight and stressed and worried I'm gonna damage it or kick it or drop it or you know so it's, it's hard for me to relax on it that's the best way I can describe it to you and I guess that's why it, it does become a question mark of there's a lot of money folded uh, not folded a lot of money kind of invested into this bike and it owes me a lot I guess really uh, and if anything goes wrong then I'm gonna be I'm not I'm gonna it's gonna cost me a lot of money you know to fix realistically I don't actually ride this bike very fast probably not really going to do a lot of damage and I could probably get the, the damage fixed at work for not too much of a price so I'm probably worrying about nothing really but the way I feel on the Punisher versus the way I feel on this bike is very different from a relaxed enjoying standpoint I do love riding this though but yeah I'm always, always hanging in the back of my mind what if I mess up But it is a beauty to ride. Really is gorgeous. And the handing does feel, feel very good.
there we go peeps back down into the lovely village of cheddar it's not a town it's not a city it's a village okay well that's enough of me talking rubbish i hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and uh, hopefully all of my cameras have complied as late i've just been having problems with that 360 cam and my microphone and i'm hoping i don't need to buy another camera and another mic external mic but anyway it's enough of my problems enough of my youtube woes hope you're all well and uh, yeah i'll try to get some more vlogs up sorry there's been a bit of a gap lots of love to you all and i will speak to you soon Bye-bye. Bye. Much love. Much love. Bye. Bye-bye.